Hi, cool people. Your cool friend over here. Here we talk travel, travel tips, travel tales, travel experiences, bucket lists, and the likes. But today, we are going to give, to have an insight into an itinerary of when one is in Kampala. I would call it a Kampala itinerary. What are those places you can check out within Kampala in just one afternoon? Let us first go to a religious tour. To start with, Namugongo Catholic Basilica. Namugongo Catholic Basilica is the only basilica of the sort in the whole world. That is why you see on 3rd June, people from different walks of life flock Uganda just to check out the basilica. Then we shall go to Ruvaga Catholic Cathedral and Namirembe Anglican Cathedral plus All Saints Cathedral. Namirembe and Ruvaga are in the same place. Checking them out is free of charge. And then All Saints Cathedral is somewhere in Nakas on Nakasero Hill. And also checking it out is free. However, checking out Namugongo Cathedral, rather Catholic Basilica, you pay a fee of 10,000 shillings and check out the Basilica. We go to Baha'i Temple. I checked out Baha'i Temple free of charge. This temple is very calm, very peaceful. One is allowed to take a day's picnic, to have um, to rest in the gardens, so you can go and chill with your loved ones in the gardens. You can also enter the temple. You can, by the way, take a nap in Baha'i Temple. But however, you are not allowed to take pictures inside the temple. You'll only take pictures outside the Baha'i Temple. Go to the mosque. There is Old Kampala Mosque, somewhere on Old Kampala Hill. By the way, my tour guide, Tuaha Sebime, hi Tuaha, I know he is watching, for he is a subscriber to this channel, told me that if you have not been to Old Kampala Mosque, you have not been to Kampala, so have you been to Kampala? Where next should we go? Should we check out the monuments? I think so. Check out the monuments. Have a monumental tour. Do you know that Echpanan Chamtesa? Do you know why is it is it why it is even called Echpanan Chamtesa? Because it's only one monument of the kind. Many of you know about the independent monument. Do you even know the stride? Where it is? Do you know why it's called so? Check it out. Check out Fort Lugard. Fort Lugard is just next to it shares a wall fence with Old Kampala Mosque. I checked out Fort Lugard at just a fee of 5,000 Uganda shillings. From Fort Lugard, let us go to Bulange Mengo. That is the Kawakas Palace and the Buganda Parliament. Bulange Mengo is the Parliament and then Oluviri is Kawakas Palace. The two share a Royal Mile. The Royal Mile look faces directly like Wankachi, the building at Wankachi, that is Twekove. When you are at Twekove, when you stand at Twekove, you're able to see the entrance of Bulange Mengo because that royal mile is straight. And that's where Kavaka derives his name. Rather, that attaches meaning to Kavaka's name of Nantawetwa. Like, the Kavaka does not make corners. He goes straight. That explains, that's one of the explanations to that name of Kavaka. While in Buganda, at just a fee of 5,000 Uganda shillings, you are going to check out, I don't know how they call that small gallery or museum that has old pictures. Like it has an archive of Kavaka's pictures when he was a very little boy. I got a chance to also see a picture of his mother so song called a lady damali and then also a means torture chamber is somewhere in buganda kingdom at a fee of five thousand shillings as well you will get to visit bulange Mengo. that's the buganda parliament find out where who sits where and then also at a fee of five thousand shillings still you'll check out kawaka's lake kawaka's lake is somewhere down 
around the St. Lawrence, I think it's St. Lawrence University. Check it out. Also at a fee of just 5,000 shillings. And then we shall go to the markets. The markets are free of charge, of course, but then they are good for photography. Check out the there is Gaba Market, Nakasero Market, Nakawa Market, Kalere Market, and the likes. And these markets have variety of fruits and foods that you have not even thought about because in Uganda we have, we are rich when it comes to food. Check out the Kasubi Toms. I don't know who is in charge of burning that place and I, I'm so sure they are not subscribers. But if you know them, please let them know. They should keep that place just for our grandchildren so that they get a chance to bask in what we saw. And then the Uganda Museum, of course. What should I say about the Uganda Museum? There is really a lot to check out at the Uganda Museum. Of course, not forgetting the National Theatre. It also has actually a craft village where you can purchase a number of craft items at a very affordable fee. And yes, I mean a very affordable fee. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for clicking. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, may you know that your subscription helps my channel grow. The setup has been done by green plants. Anyone around Kampala for all your plant for all your plant needs, green plants got you. Thank you for watching. Bye.